Hey guys, what is going on? This is Spartan MVG here, and today I have for you an airsoft video at Striker Airsoft in Santa Paula, California. This this field is fairly close to where I live, so it's easy to get to, so you'll be seeing a lot of it in the future. Now, this is like my third take on this video, so I want to get it done. Alright, so as you can see, I'm using my GNP WSC for the first time. I finally got it working. I'll make a video on that gun later. Alright, so it was my first time using a gas blowback rifle. Not my first time using a gas blowback. I've used pistols in the past, but this was my first rifle that I used that ran on gas. And I had a ton of problems at the beginning. So I'm going to be showing you some clips from the first three matches and explaining the problems that I had with them. This is a, pro this is a clip where I wasn't having a lot of problems, so... This next clip is the first match of the day, and I'm going to have to do some commentary on that. For now, I'm going to stop talking. Alright, right, so this is the first match of the day. First match, first minute, I failed really badly. Alright, so I'm running to cover the very beginning of the day. And I wasn't sure how much gas to put in my mag. I severely underestimated it. And within the first minute of the game, I run out of gas in both my mags. Completely out of gas. None. I had none of it on the field because it was a really short game. It was going to be a really short game anyway. Because there were like only like a few people playing because everybody else was still getting set up. So, there's the second mag, out of gas. I was so surprised at how much gas you have to put in. So, put 30 seconds of gas in each mag. That's good. 30 seconds is enough. Less is not enough. This is back in that same match I used in the intro, but it's later on in the match. And... I have a lot of mag difficulty in this match. So, as you can see, I'm shooting and I'm shooting, but then I stop shooting, and what happened is, because the mag is double stack and it's like staggered, like there's mag, like there's a BB, and then on the other side there's a BB slightly above it, what happened is two BBs were at the same height level, so they got stuck in the magazine and it wouldn't feed. I, I resolved that issue later, but not until the fourth match. And I only have the first three matches recorded. So, you'll see that in the third clip also. Or the final clip, really, fourth. But, um, third match, I guess. Um, I also need to say, make sure you have, like, a good amount of green gas with you on the field. Or some type of gas. I had green gas with me. As you can see right here, I have to fill up. Um, also, this clip actually gives another thing. Make sure you have, like... A few magazines with you at least three or four because I only had two in this clip and one of my magazines actually went down as you saw with the magazine BB thing so make sure you have at least three magazines gas with you and try not to have a lot of feeding issues carry a screwdriver or something to fix stuff all right now this final clip that I have is from the third match of the day it's called D-Day you can see why all right now, what happened here is I still hadn't fixed the mag, so it does the same thing. So after I'm done shooting, you'll see I stop shooting, and then I have to switch mags. So that happens, because it does the same thing. There it is. It stopped working. So right there, the first mag stopped working because I hadn't resolved the BB issue yet. So then I have to switch mags. You see me switch mags in just a second here. And the main problem in this clip, you'll see it in just a little bit, I had not lubed the gun yet, so everything was sticking. Like, you'll see me start to, like, pull the bolt back like I'm using a spring gun, and that's because it didn't blow back. What was happening is it was ejecting gas, but the bolt was sticking, so it wouldn't actually cycle. So I would have to do that, I would have to do that, uh, kind of charging handle thing that you see and that happened and it didn't work correctly so beware of that so those are my three tips one make sure that you're having at least 
30 seconds of gas in each mag. Two, make sure you have at least three mags. Try to carry something on the field to fix the mags. And make sure you have gas on the field. And three, lube your gun regularly because believe me, it will stop working. You have to have something to clean and lube your gun on the field. Or between games, I guess you could say. At the field, I guess. So those are my tips for gas blowbacks and what I've experienced in my first time playing with one. Alright?